suggestive look. Who's giving suggest? Uh-uh, he's married. <laughs> you heifer. Look at this heifer. And this ugly green dress. Suggestive look. Ignore her. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to Punchinella Games. I am Punch, aka Brie, aka PYT, on any of the Sims official websites. We are back with Farms Divine, um, a new Let's Play I just created, and we are at episode two. Um, on the previous episode, we just kind of got to know everybody, showed around the house a little bit. We went downtown for a second, but we didn't spend much time there. Um, please go check out that video to um, get kind of like a walkthrough of everything. Um, on this one, um, we're picking up where we left off. I've brought Miss Louise back home so that she can maybe get one of her chickens and take it back to the, um, I think it's called the fair. I think. Anyway, um, she's going to enter one of her chickens into the competition and see if she wins anything. And uh, also, she had a man take an interest in her um, on the last episode. I did go in and give him a little makeover because um, I, I, I just couldn't do it with the looks. He, he just was not attractive. And it's funny because when I went in to edit him a little bit, one of his traits was ugly, okay? So I wasn't the only one that was feeling that way. Um, EA spawned him, and then they was feeling the same way, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I, I spooced him up a little bit. Not not, not, not anything too major. Um, and actually, I found out that he's actually younger than her. So she's an elder, and he is a full-on adult. So he's, he's, he's younger than her, but he likes it. So I was thinking she could invite him over for dinner or something like that and let them get to know each other in this episode as well. Also, we'll be trying to, um, we'll be trying to add to the farm, uh, plant some crops and things like that to get some things going. Uh, I actually was thinking about maybe taking some of their money away just to make things a little more complicated. I haven't quite decided that yet, and they haven't gotten their first set of bills yet. So when they get their first set of bills, then I guess I can see how much they're normally charged, and I'll see. Because if it's super expensive, that money that she has is not going to last long anyway, so I won't really need to take anything away. But um, just a thought, just a thought. Let me know what you think. Uh, so anyway, we're going to jump right back in uh, where we left off. I'm going to let her, actually, I'm going to let her speak to this person who is at her front gate, uh, Sarah Scott. Okay, so she owns the pub that was, um, that's downtown. So yeah, I'm going to let her introduce herself to, to Miss Sarah Scott and see how they get along. And then I'm going to take care of a few of their needs, grab a chicken, and we're going back in town. So, let's get it. I love the way the toddlers walk when they start walking good. It's so cute. <laughs> it's hilarious, actually. Yes, yeah, she loves the outdoors, we know. Wait, Grandma. And by the way, her name is Louise Devine, but I call her Grandma. I don't know why. I think because she reminds me a little bit of my grandma. Because she's definitely not a grandma. She's a grandma. And when she starts going to some of these gatherings and dressing up, you guys will see that. Mm -hmm. So she's a little bit country. But she has a little bit of bougie in her too. Oh, she, she dresses for the gods. Okay. So. And makeup be flawless. Okay. But anyway, I digress. I'm going to let her do a cheerful, and cheerful introduction to Miss Scott. 
little man, Amari, is headed to his bed. Actually, Amari, I want you to stop and potty like your dad. And then I want you to come in here and take a nap. You can just snap right here. All right, so here's Amari's wife, Faith. I'm going to let him come in here and uh, greet her since he's been gone for a minute. Let's sweat with a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Amir feel amazing. Should he firmly embrace with his astonishing sculpted arms that he likes fitness? Huh. I'm so indecisive. I can't. Yeah, whatever. I also adjusted his height just a little bit. Yeah, so it's gonna be a little off. Um, I made I made him just a tiny bit taller. I was just kind of curious how it worked. I've never really used it before. So far, I like it. All right, Grandma. So she's using the potty, which is great. <laughs> They're using it together. Oh. <laughs> Like grandmother, like grandson. I'm glad she did number two with the baby in the bathroom, though. I I would I would die if that happened to me. Okay, so I'm going to get her to call. Let me see. I think she can call the chickens out. Yeah. Which one should I take? The white hen or the brown hen? Where's my rooster? Is he already out? Hold on. Oh, whew, my nerves. Like they went through the through the ceiling here. I thought I had lost them. And I know, I think I saw where they say that they will get out <laughs> and run away. So I was nervous. Okay, so she's going to, oh, I'm going to do the brown hen. We're going to take her back. I'm so glad it's sunshine. So glad it's sunshine. I was about to die with that rain every day. Can I come over? I miss you. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. I I, I didn't even know she really knew him. I miss you. No. You creep. Why is this lady, you know what I don't like about the Sims though? Like if you just speak to somebody, they automatically come in your house and start like getting on your computer and going in your kitchen and for her going in my bar. But if you go to their house and you so much as get a plate out the refrigerator, they want to kick you out. The double standards, EA, the double standards. I don't appreciate. All right. So I don't know how to do this. I'm going, wait, I keep having to pause it because when, when they're in control of themselves, when, when, when autonomous is turned on, they legit will not be still for two seconds for you to, you know, click on something. And I don't want her to walk away. Plus I need to read these things. Trade for Simolo Simoloni. You can. Simoleons, excuse me, I was, was going to say Simoleons. What in the world, Jesus? Um, Simoleons, you can, tra you can trade the poor chicken for animal treats? Ingredients and produce and meat. So I guess meat is like sending them to the slaughterhouse. Oh, yikes. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not ready to do that quite yet. I'll, I'll, I'll just, you know buy my chicken at the grocery store yeah okay I want to take her with me can I do that how do I do that and then back to crew call over give treat I'm probably missing it oh I did put in your inventory put in your inventory Alrighty, so that 
her in the inventory and I did not sorry I did not name her but I should where is he okay so I'm gonna let the baby stay here with his mom since I invited her last time and she didn't come so she can just stay here and play with her son because she's constantly checking on him anyway which is not a bad thing let me let me say but I'm gonna let grandma and her son go back and try to catch this bear and maybe just maybe she'll win something I doubt it but it never hurts to try also on the first episode I was totally uninterested in doing errands for the townies because I didn't see the money at the top I just saw like the seed packets that you would receive and I already had a lot of those seed packets so I was kind of like uh yeah no I'm not doing that right now <laughs> but I have changed my mind I am going to go ahead and do one so let's see here okay so I'm gonna submit entry and I don't even see anybody else submitting any chickens maybe it's too early oh it's only for roosters right now oh well duh look at the little cutout okay a rooster for your coop is a good idea Let's see, a rooster for your coop is a good idea if you want them to breed and create hatchable eggs. Also good to protect the coop from predators and act as nature's alarm clock. Happiness, fine, clean, full, attention, okay. Um, I don't know if he's going to win. He's not really happy right now and his attention is not high either. But I'm going to do it anyway. You never know. Maybe she can talk to him now. <laughs> Remind him. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, she can talk to him. Okay. Ask about future. This is good. Because I'm, I'm trying to get everything up before anyone else enters yeah, their then, roosters. Uh, so now I just got shall. a chicken in my pocket for no reason. <laughs> okay, we got happiness. We got content for attention. Okay, let's give them some more attention. Yes, let's... <laughs> She's already judging me. Let's flatter her. I don't know if it'll help, but... She on... Isn't that Twitch? No, no. Not the not the flirty. Have you met the little family? It's a really close-knit community. Yeah, I see. Have a Henford heart to heart. Okay. Sobering up. Okay, so on the first episode, Grandma was at the pub getting drunk. So she's slowly sobering up. Grandma. Grandma. Miss Louise. Where, where are we going? Can you come? I'm trying to read these. This woman is gone. Just gone skating. Wow. Okay. <laughs> she got a lot of energy, let me tell you. Uh, let me read these really quick. A lot of the villagers around here, but I'm have been needing help lately. 
Sims looking for love are in the right place. It's singles night. That means flirty single Sims can buy each other drinks on the cheap. What was the other one? Is that all of them? Because foxes can be quite sly, but I once saw a rooster take one on, beak primed, knives out, feathers flying, and give it <laughs> and give it what for, such such that the fox had to admit defeat and slunk off in shame. And so well, that was a good fox story. Alright, let's see what Sun is doing. Oh, he's over getting drunk too. No, nope, she was just at my house. Messing with my bar. Now grandma's doing push ups. You ain't gotta do that. Oh, here's the guy that I um made over a little bit. Why did he walk in the bathroom on that lady? He low key kind of creepy, but I'm gonna let Grandma ask him some questions and stuff. No, not her putting on her face mask at the pub. No. All right, let's see what Sign got going on down here. Smooth sipping from drink. Skin redness. Why is his skin red? Namir seems to have some skin redness. Skin treatments can't make them go away. Okay, so I'm going to put a mask on him when he gets home. I don't want to do it now. Grandma, you can't be trying to get this man with your face mask on, boo. I mean, come on. Does she have to wait here at the fair? Cause I really hate to leave my poor rooster. I'ma stay. I'ma stay. Did she even talk to him? Friendly. I want to get to know him. Ask about day. Cheers. Definitely. Let's do a cheers. So he's just here hanging out with some people that maybe he used to know growing up. Who is this with his hair? Yeah, yeah, here. Oh. Yes, cheers, boo, cheers. Cheers to you. A lot of y'all young people don't know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, let's compliment his outfit. Deep conversation. You seem the friendly sort, you know. If you want to help out, a few of the important local villages are often in need of a hand. Just walk up and offer help. Yeah, that's something I definitely wanted to do. And I got totally distracted with the rooster and the man. Okay, so the grocer's closed. Okay, so let's ask her. Um, offer to help with errands. He's such a good young man. Okay, so there's only three roosters in the competition so far. I'm not sure what time it ends. What's your entry? I don't know why I'm lagging. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, not, not, not. Not not downtown, boo. She just broke out twerking on the cobblestone. Yikes. And he talking to her a mile away. Okay. Ooh, once now I see the money. 
175 $90. Okay. Oh, what's this? A fresh face. Always lovely to see someone new around the village. Can you be a dear and help me out with some things? I've heard that there's some juicy gossip going around, but I've only got two ears. Mmm, this one already sounds like it's fun. Can you find a gnome who knows some things and some sims who don't know what they're missing? You'll help, won't you? Of course you will. I can see it in your eyes. You can see it in my eyes that I am messy and I like tea. Um, the other one, so okay, so this one is a decorative gnome and oversized crop seeds. They can keep the gnome, but I'll take the crop seeds and the 175. On this one, how's that garden of yours going? You do have a garden, right? Okay, so I remember this one from the first one. I want to do this one. I think I want to do this one. Hmm. Do you know who's always around and listening? The gnomes. Find a local gnome and ask them for some gossip, and then let's have a sweet treat to celebrate afterwards. You know what else would help? Find me some single sims. I'm always looking for my next matchmaking project. They out here getting it. See? They out here in the village twerking. Go on, Hanford. Go. Get, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. It's, it's funny anyway, but it's even more funny because where they are. He is hungry, and he at home with his mother. I'm going to cheat his hunger up just till we get home, because obviously she's not taking care of her kid, even though she's always constantly 100% checking on him. The festival will end in one hour. Finish up any activities before it closes. Be sure to come back the next time the festival is in town. Okay, cool. All right, so find some gnomes. Ooh, somebody is knocking the boots, and I'm going to be nosy and see who it is. Yeah, here and Leticia. Oh, she coughing in the middle of it. Let me just <laughs> move around. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't even want to know what made her cough. I really don't. Suggestive look. Who's giving suggest? Uh, uh he's married. You have Look at this heifer. And this ugly green dress. Suggestive look. Ignore her. Thank you. Careful around this chicken. I'm pretty sure I stepped in something. Sheena, Sheena, girl, don't do it. Matter of fact, how about you come over here? I know you already told me they were. Let them do what they do. Hold on, grandma talking to a gnome. Oh, she found one. Thank you, Miss Louise. You be on it. So don't go over there, come over here. Talk to that's right. Winter. Okay, Finchwick Fair Reward. One sugar, one participating chicken competition ribbon. Louise has unlocked the recipe for spicy treats. Information about the spicy treat, animal treat has been added to Louise's notebook. Open her notebook to learn more. Okay. Spicy mushroom, any vegetable. All right, ha cha cha. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. Ha cha cha. <laughs> That's a spicy tree. <laughs> Affects chickens. Next egg a hen lays will be obsidian. Affects cows. Cows will provide fire milk. 
affects llamas. Llamas will turn red and will provide red wool when sheared. I think I'm going to get a llama too. I've seen that one already. Okay. I think I'm going to get a llama. Wait a minute. On the road to fame. Who's on the road to fame? Now he doing it with someone else. <gasps> it's four of them. And one of them is the guy that likes Louise. Y'all. The no. And somebody else. No, no, no. Please don't join that. I know it probably smells in there. I feel you. Amir gave a discussion so. with a gnome a proper go. Nothing happened. You better dream up something satisfactory. Okay, so let me let him talk. Okay, he's out skating. Oh, so he can't talk to this one. Oh, man. This is ridiculous, though. This little... I don't even want to say the word because... I don't know what happened with my channel, <laughs> but that little group <laughs> situation is, is, is so ridiculous. And it just made me mad because that was grandma's friend. I'm going to invite him to dinner anyway, but let's go ahead and go home. It's two in the morning and they have things to do. So let's go ahead and get them back to the house and check on this poor child who is not being cared for by his mom. Like, how does that happen? That part I don't understand. Like, if you're at home with your parent, why aren't you being fed? Seriously? Seriously. Okay, so grandma is tired, of course. She's gonna go ahead and go to bed. Yep, she beat me to it. He's gonna use the restroom. Look at all the cute little bunnies. They are so cute. Where's he going? His little fast self. Oh, he's going to rock in a chair. Aw, and look at his attention. Well, she finally fed him, apparently. But he has no attention. Aw, where's his mom? Going to the restroom. Oh, she cooked. Finally. Took you forever. Kid almost starved to death. All right, so I'm going to let his dad give him a bubble bath really quick. And then we're going to put that little guy to bed. Dad's missing a foot. The glitches we see in this game are unmatched. I bet there's no other game that has these type of issues. He's missing a whole foot. Walking on air. Invisible toes. I cannot. I cannot. I can't and I won't. I'm just going to move on. Feeling much better. Amir is recovering from his insecurity. It's time for him to learn. It's time for him to learn to love what he has. Huh. What was he insecure about? I missed that one. So she cooked this and didn't eat it. I'm going to bring it in the house. So that's a little bit more accessible for everyone. And she can grab a serving and then, no, put him to sleep first. And then come grab a plate of food. She made some shish kebabs. Okay, great. 
So she's feeling good, feeling great. And she actually has a lot of energy, so I guess she's been asleep while we were gone. So we're going to put that energy to good use and have her do some laundry. Let's wait a minute. Go put it in the hamper because for some reason, no available washing machine still acting funny. But I'll wash whatever's in here. And the clothes are still soaking wet. It keeps raining, so they just will not dry. Can't get them to dry. What does she have? Disgusting teeth, of course. Y'all do not brush your teeth. Like, that should be a habit. You just walk around with dirty teeth and stink breath and don't even care. No chill, no recognition. Unbelievable. All right, and I'm gonna send this poor man to sleep. Amir is tired. He has bags under his eyes. I'm gonna put it. I need to put a hamper in grandma's room, not just in her bathroom. You know, she applied for some colleges. I wonder, doesn't look like anything ever came. So she's up playing video games. Everyone else is resting. Let's see what she's feeling. Central heating. Decorated. Delicious dish. Yeah, you did pretty good on those shish kebabs. Good job. Good job. Good job. How about you clean this out? And how about you old fashioned? Just drink that. <laughs> Old fashioned at six in the morning. Go for it, girl. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> uh, she's gonna be drunk out there in the garden. Got the clothes washing. Squeamish lesson. Faith is a squeamish sim. Squeamish sims become nauseated from slimy, icky things. Faith cannot discuss workout techniques. Oh, she didn't like cleaning that. Oh, well, it's her baby stuff. Ew, gross from emptying trash. Bleh. This is just creepy. Blessed. The sim believes in a higher power and have a strong spiritual connection. Wow. So she does not like taking out the trash or doing anything like that. So you know what's going to happen, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Clean the cow. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot that poor chicken was in Miss Louise's inventory. Uh oh. <sighs> Oops. I left the rooster anyway. Uh oh. And the chicken, the other chicken. Okay, there's a brown one. There's the white one. But. I think we left the rooster in the city. Oh, no. 
And I was literally talking about not leaving the poor chicken or rooster, whatever. But I, oh, oh man. So let me wake her up and I'm going to send her back there to see if she can find her poor oops to see if she can find her poor rooster gosh I don't know how I forgot I was waiting for him to let's see let's get her back in town really quickly oh not gonna take anybody let's just go Okay, let's hope that the rooster is still there. I doubt it, but let's hope he's somewhere running around where we can grab him. Oh, it's gone. Um, yeah. I don't see him anywhere. Uh, this is bad. The poor rooster. Somebody probably took him and it wouldn't surprise me if it was her. Oh man, my feelings are hurt. So very hurt. Oh, my rooster. You guys think he'll come home? Maybe? Let's just go home. There's nothing for us to do here. If he's not running around anywhere. Ah. Oh. That hurts my soul. I lost him. The other one went back home. Small talk. Oh, she's bored. Ah, oh, Miss Louise, that's kind of rude. And he's not in anybody's inventory. Oh, that's right. I can't check it. What am I doing? Oh, man. She's already made her way into the pub. Ciao. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say. I don't know why I'm lagging. I have no idea. I hope it's not some decoration or something or something I've done. Oh man, my heart, my soul, my rooster. My rooster. I'm gonna buy another rooster. I'm gonna buy one that looks exactly like him. Wouldn't it be dope if I went over here and he was magically back home? Collect eggs. He's, he's not. He's not home. <laughs> I was so like trying to wait on that darn rooster and I still left him. Happy holidays, Louise. Can I celebrate with you? What holiday are you talking about? Okay. Man, you guys have no idea. My feelings are destroyed. What holiday is he talking about? I need to add my holidays to my calendar, actually. Oh, new skill day? Oh, please. What else we got going here? Uh, yeah, 
my calendar is blank so I need to go in and add my my holidays I normally have like my own holidays I add to the game just to give it some you know a little spice a little something something so I'm definitely gonna do that here soon off camera though All right, so Miss Louise, well, this is perfect because I was going to invite him over for dinner, but now he's over for mm -mm, brunch, I guess. So let's let her take a shower really fast. I want Miss Squeamish to come out here and clean this cow. <laughs> it would be nice if there was like an animation for like the Squeamish people when they do stuff like that. All right. Little Amari is good. Amir is still tired. He's drinking coffee. So I'm gonna let him go on that coffee for a minute and just see what happens. See how he responds to it. Oh, you know what? Let me lock my computer because they immediately wanna come up here and mess with the computer. Everyone but households. And I bet that's where he's going. I don't think I did it fast enough. Oh, I did do it fast enough. Ew, he stinks. I did not do it fast enough. If he turns on that computer. Top 10 most annoying things in The Sims. When the neighbors come over and go directly to the computer or your refrigerator. Top 10 things. Top 10 Sims 4 pet peeves. And the fact that when they're eating, they won't sit still. Uh, the Festival of Youth has started. Kids, scrap your paper, Kabuto, and prepare for the Virtual Void Critter Hunt Challenge. Okay. No. Not right now. I actually can't wait to grow him up, though. I just feel like it's going to be so cool. Hear this? This is the heifer. This is her. She done started calling now. I hear you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how a pro gets a great price? Girl, didn't we turn you down earlier? Like, back, back. Oh, I wanted to see this. She's doing good. I don't know what her feelings are, though. Let's see. Um, nothing crazy. I'm proud. Oh, but she's tipsy, so maybe that has something to do with it, you think? So I'm going to let him come and refill the feed. What is wrong? Cannot unsee. <gasps> Who did he walk in on? His mom? Gross. So I'm going to let her talk to him a little bit, get to know him some more. I don't know if I trust him anymore, though, being that he was in that bathroom in that group situation. Not sure if I want him with Miss Louise now. I kind of feel like he may be tainted. He has a whole lot to prove. Yeah, he walked in on his mom. Yeah, that can be traumatic for some. She's a smooth talker. Okay, so I'm gonna let her cook something for everyone. Uh, what should she cook? Let's see what they got on the brunch. The regular menu. What's $64? Just air? Breakfast scramble. Brioche. French toast. Look at these prices. I swear I gotta look into this. Crab cakes. Let's do crab cakes. Please? No? No. We took too long. 
Let's see if we still have the crab cakes available. Lady, if you grab that mac and cheese, stop moving. <laughs> Serve lunch. <laughs> Goodness sakes. I wish there was levels to that. Uh, lamb chops, $200. Linguini shrimp scampi, $200. Gosh, where does this food come from? If anyone watches this and knows why a BLT is $120 and my camper stew is $108, please let me know what I've done wrong. I need you. Oh, jerk chicken. It's $96. But it's worth it. Jerk chicken is delicious. Okay. Talk to lover. Hold the phone. Who is your lover? Your wife? I'm sorry. I have to watch him for a second. Oh, wait. What's wrong with the baby? Oh, he's hungry. Okay. You're out here in your socks. And who's the lover? Oh, it went away? Oh, it went away because I'm watching? Okay. No, I'm watching you. I don't know what you're watching, but I'm watching you. I know. Let's put you on some clothes. It makes no sense to be out here in your socks. Cleaning cows. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so grandma in here burning some things. Baby is like, hurry up. And he wants to yell at his mother, as he should. She left him hungry last night, and she left him hungry today. Here comes dad to the rescue. Oh, now she's, now she's here. Where is old boy? On the computer. I freaking knew it. I knew it. They go straight to the computer. And he, I didn't lock it fast enough. All right, so we're going to move the jerk chicken to the forbidden room because grandma is showing out for this for this um, friend of hers. So we're going to call to Mill everyone. He got his mask on. He made himself way too at home. Way too at home. Let's see what this jerk chicken looks like, though. Um, it looks it it looks pretty good with that red sauce. I know that's supposed to probably be jerk sauce, but it's it, it look he looking like the chicken bleeding. I not know if we supposed to eat it. I not I not know if it's if it's clean. She gave that baby some chips. Grandma, wait. This is a, another top 10 yeah. annoying things. Another top 10 annoying things. Oh, they've been torn up. Put him back. The fact that they will not let the kid actually stay in the darn. You yeah. know what? That, this, this. Sir, how you going to leave? We haven't even eaten yet. Oh, the disrespect. This woman came down here and cooked this delicious chicken. Grab a plate, baby, because I'm I'm just all messed up right now. Between her, keep pulling him out the high chair before he can even touch the chips. To the man leaving before he can even sit down to dinner. To the heifer that keeps on calling this woman's husband. Sheena, back, back. I see now this is going to be a problem that only a wife can handle. Okay, so, and then you're going to go in there and get something else? Come in here and eat this chicken. So, okay, son, let's... 
Uh, okay, he's going for some grown-up time with his wife. Lord, I hope they do not go outside on the patio furniture again. I pray to you. Why not? It's your wife. But please don't go out to your mom's patio furniture or her room. First episode, they were outside on the patio furniture in the rain. Oh, Lord, this isn't looking good. They're going downstairs. Opposite way of their bedroom. This isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. Please, please. In your mom's craft room. Um, in her rocking chair. You know, Amir, I started out liking you, but the blatant disrespect and the christening of every area in your mom's home is making me second guess my first opinion of you. Son. Son. What are we doing? Let's put away the chicken. Our brunch didn't go quite as planned. Oh, he's playing. He's going to play with his baby Yoda. Oh, that's cute. Okay, her kitchen. I'm gonna let her clean her counter. I want her son to come in here and fix that toy. Oh, I thought this was the Sheena girl. I was about to lose it. Do you hear me? It was about to be a misunderstanding on the porch. Okay, well, I'm going to let Grandma come out here and take care of her plants. Since those two are completely preoccupied in her craft room. I mean, they're, they're just messing up all of her, you know, blessed areas. Like, y'all have a bedroom. Stop doing that. They are such a mess. Ah. I mean, I guess it could be exciting, but at the same time, She's at home. It's not like she's not. Oh, we have sugar. Okay, let's see. This is fertilizer. Fertilizer. What do we have here? Starter fruits. Farmer veggies and herbs. Okay. Would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Okay, he's starting to be like a little bit of a bubba boo. You legit just left the house. And now you're back again? Uh, no. I'm going to give you something to want for. You can't just pop up over here when you get ready. All right, let's see what seeds we get out of this pack. Hello? Oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> Faith just became good friends with Amir. Y'all just now becoming good friends? Wow, that's an interesting relationship. So why don't you come clean the coop? Oh, we got more eggs. I want him to clean the coop, and I am going to get the lag is driving me nuts. I'm going to let Grandma purchase another rooster since we lost our rooster. 
I'm gonna get another one. I really hate I lost them. I really do. He was a good poster. May he, may he be happy and not turned into chicken fingers. Collect your eggs. Let's put some feet out. And what we got going on here? Okay, so I want her or someone to plant some more crops. And I know they're really supposed to be in season or not in season, but... Okay, so that was for the fall, summer, fall. Okay, so none of these are good. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one. And let's see. Summer and spring, okay, so this one is good. Terra root, summer and spring, okay, that one's good too. Winter for the spinach. Mmm, spinach. This one doesn't say. Carrots, fall and spring. Okay, so let's do some, let's put them here. Let's do parsley there. Let's do two parsley. And two tear root. And spinach, sage. I guess I'll try to sage and see if we can grow it. There and there, okay. All right, so grandma is super tired. So is her son. Everybody's tired, everybody's tired, but I really need y'all to come put these in the ground really quick. So I'm gonna get her and him to both do them so they can get it done quicker. And then I'm gonna let them rest. And she can do that sage, and he'll do this sage. And it's back cold outside. Oh wow, what's going on? Status dirty. I thought, I thought he cleaned this today. Um, sorry, bro. I'm gonna give you a little dose of energy and a little dose of bladder control <laughs> because I really need to clean that shit. I do not want the cows to leave. The point of y'all being here is to help her. And you're helping a little bit, but you're not. All right, let's see what sentiment he has for his wife. Okay, so she's she is materialistic, self-absorbed, girly girl, diva, and squeamish. Um, soulmate spouse perceived as extremely attractive. Hmm. And they are deeply connected, and she feels the same way about him. That's like really good because this one right here, this one right here, her, Sheena with the ugly dress. And the too tall hair. She tried it. Um, is this my rooster? Or is that another rooster? Y'all, is this my rooster? I didn't even know they had relationships with them. Let me see. Black rooster. Um... I'm going to go out on a limb and, and see if this is this new rooster or her old rooster. I 
acquired the gardening skill. Okay, so he has... Dang, he acquired and he's already at four? Okay, so I think maybe this rooster is the same rooster. Okay, so I'm going to name them so that I can keep up with who's who. Uh-oh, sorry. I'm going to name them. Who's in here? Let's see. Call chickens out. Let's call the white hen out because I want to name them all so I can make sure I keep up with them right this time. Let's, I'm going to do it out of her relationship. Let's name this rooster Egbert. No. What should we name him? Hmm. Since he's the only one and he has all of his hens, I'm going to name him Big Daddy. Big Daddy. And I'm going to name the brown hen Apple. Hmm, that's not bad. I'm going to name her Crown. She looks just the color of Crown Royal. <laughs> Let's just name the whole thing. Crown Royal. Mm-hmm. I love Crown Royal. And we're gonna name the White Hen. We're gonna name the White Hen. Fluff? No. Let's name her Snowflake. My nails are so loud with this keyboard. <laughs> okay. We're gonna name her Snowflake. And we already have the cow. I thought I already named her Milkshake. That is so... <laughs> the disrespect. Oh, okay, I see. So I named the actual building. No, I want to name her. I'm not going to name the cow Milkshake. I'm going to name her Bessie, like I said before. And I have some rabbits and stuff. I'm not naming them just yet. And we're going to call this, let's see, name the chicken coop. Okay, there we go. I'm going to call it the hen house. I got that from Grand Theft Auto. And Bessie's home, I don't know. Okay, Bessie Shed shall be called, I almost said the freezer, but I think that would be a little disrespectful <laughs> to Bessie. <laughs> so I'm going to call it, I don't know, Chateau Bessie. Okay, it's not a chateau right now because it's filthy. He's taking care of that. Okay, you don't have to call him out, but I do want you to collect those eggs. And I think that's our hatchable egg. Hatchable, yes. Time until hatching, one day. So we have one day until we get a little chick. I'm excited. I hope I can catch it when it happens. Like, I hope there's like an alert. Because it would be like really cute. Okay. So Faith is up here doing stuff I didn't ask her to do. Like putting away all his toys that are actually decoration. Please stop. Take to the hamper. Yeah, you can do that. And also, let's move these clothes 
to the dryer. Can't move them to the clothesline because <gasps> what happened to my clothesline? Oh, go, 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 go. Or oh, you can't go in there and pee. Go to the other one. You got it. What happened to my clothesline? They just break? What happened to the clothes that was on the line? Oh, man. Okay. So I'm going to let actually let him go ahead and rest. And then I'm going to have him wake up and fix some stuff around the house. I mean, this... This country life ain't no joke. She's put her baby to sleep. Awesome. And then after she's done with this, she can actually go to sleep. And we'll wake up and start it all over again. A bath. No, let's take a shower and a quick one at that. Okay. The water, did the water even turn on? He sleep. I mean, he's clean, so I guess it did. Feeling energized. Now he's feeling energized. Well, you can go down there and fix that toilet then. More than sex. What does that say? When you and your partner know each other's body so well, you can be sure to walk out of each intimate adventure with a great mood. And would you freaking... That's gone. God dang it. The annoying of my soul. Okay, so it's three in the morning. Little man is up and he needs to potty and he's going to wake up grandma. Don't wake up grandma. Just potty here. I, I understand, but you know how to use it. So just go ahead and potty. And he's getting hungry, so mom, go ahead and feed him at 3.22 in the morning. Let's give him some... See for breakfast. You can give him some cereal. You can eat some cereal. All right, Miss Louise is up. Four in the morning. Poop. Okay, what is. <laughs> That is, I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> That's funny. I don't want to hear or see it though. Okay, you're watching him, but seriously? Give the kid some breakfast. Seriously. Baby, you should not have walked in there, let me tell you. <laughs> He's trying to get scarred. <laughs> he has fully developed his thinking skill. Omari sleeps through the night and never defies. He can now learn letters from flashcards and practice spelling with nesting blocks. Awesome. Where are we going? Just going to talk to her animal friends. How's he doing? 
let him go ahead and finish out his night's sleep. But he definitely needs to get up pretty soon and take care. Let's sweat. No. Alrighty. There we go. Oh, he can sit down and eat his Fruit Loops. And you can just clean this up so I can ensure that you leave him alone. You better not. Oh, I don't want you to clean that up. I want you to make some breakfast. Ooh, wait a minute. Chat, but it has some mischievous. Okay, so it went away. Are you eating a brownie for breakfast? That's what we're doing. I need to get. I'm gonna cook something out of this cookbook. Breakfast. I remembered where to go this time. Let's make some honey banana toast, family size. And then that cup's gonna start smelling, and it's gonna be stuck behind the microwave. Please clean this up. Stop just sitting plates everywhere. Okay, Dad. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. You can let him out. And then breakfast should be ready by the time you do that. Wow, she really just cleaned up that one dish, too. Clean up your baby's food that you left last night. And his new bowl, too. You are creaky, Grandma. You're always cooking. <laughs> She's feeling good, feeling great. Feeling great, feeling good. I do not understand for the life of me why they will cook the food and then go get something else. And then she picks the most spoiled... Is it spoiled? What is that coming off of it? Is it supposed to be steam? Am I tripping? I could have sworn I saw something come off that popcorn. Or oh, maybe it was this. Alright, so he can come get it. Grab him a little plate of food. And she's still hungry, so she can get her serving too. Look at them. They're just taking turns pulling them out of the thing. Out of the high chair. Grandma's house is unpleasant and she doesn't like it. Work for Amari starts in about one hour. Oh yeah, he's in preschool, so he'll be leaving. Let's put him on his little outfit. Okay, so Grandma Louise, oh, her plants have come up already. What is this? Sagebush. Did I put a sagebush out there? Evolve. Evolve. Let's have her water them. Evolve. I do not recall putting a sage out there. I thought I put... Two and two. Oh well. Avocado tree. And her mushrooms are. Oh, they can evolve as well. And she's ready to harvest these, so I'm gonna let her harvest the mushrooms. 
and we're gonna milk Bessie so that we can get some money. Oh my God, they're both broken. Okay, you repair those. Let's increase the noise. Quality. And she needs to brush her teeth, of course. Oh, look at his little outfit. Look at his little bow tie in his Air Forces. He's so cute. Look at his little shoes. Bye, pumpkin. So he's off to school, which gives the parents no, no excuse not to work in grandma's farm today. All right, so I'm gonna let her unload. I think it's dry. It doesn't say, unfortunately, but we're gonna unload it. And he's finished that, and I'm gonna let him come over here and finish. Repairing her clothesline. Yeah, they could chat. They haven't chatted in a long time. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put on his face mask. I'm going to do that really fast. Um, let's do a weekly treatment. Got to have them. Got to have the skin smooth, you know? Gotta have the beard shiny and the skin smooth. Okay, so she's done with that. Okay, so let's do her bees because they have, oops, not what I was trying to do. They are in a frenzy again. And so let's change into our suit. We're gonna spray and we're gonna collect honey. Let's just sell it, sell honey. So, honey, because I'm pretty sure it's not in good quality. Okay, so who are you talking to? Talk to lover? Who is your lover? Excuse me. Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, sorry. Who, who are you talking to? Who, who are you on the phone with? I'm talking to you. Hello? And he's really chatting it up. Unbelievable. Well, she just made $70. Girl, you need to, you need to check on, you need to check his phone. <laughs> Cause he's talking to his lover. But he doesn't have a lover except for her. Right? I think I checked this before earlier. That's his, hers. Yeah, he doesn't have a lover. Okay, so grandma made a little money. Make mango sorbet. She's making ice cream while it's cool outside. All right, so let's get this, this farm stuff going. You know what? This is actually kind of hard keeping up with this. I didn't realize it was going to be this involved, that there was like no downtime. <laughs> like Be Bessie needs to be cleaned and fed and milked. I want to milk Bessie. Is he gonna milk her first? Oh, okay. Chat with Faith. Let's talk to Faith later. Let's clean Bessie. Okay, so she is full. Okay, great. And milk Bessie. 
and we're going to vent to Bessie about her life. Lisa has finished creating a carton of mango sorbet. The carton has been added to her inventory. Okay, well, let's put that in the refrigerator if we can, because I'm sure it will spoil. Alrighty. Okay, girlfriend. Um, come spray for bugs. I'm gonna let her, her go ahead and harvest all the crops that are ready. So these were like supposed to be the oversized ones, but they did not. Wait. Harvest mean they're gone? Was that supposed to happen? I hardly ever garden, so I have no idea. Uh, let's see what they're talking about. Okay, so far so good. What have you learned? Let's see. Big head mode enable. Make buy. Lettuce seeds can be ordered by purchasing over crop seeds on a computer. Lettuce can only be planted in a garden patch, which can be acquired in build mode. The care shown when growing lettuce will affect its final weight and quality. Okay. Experiment on lettuce in your garden by using different fertilizers, which can be purchased from the garden shop in Finchwick or receive when completing errands for villagers in Hanford on Badley. Use four, by increasing your cooking skill, lettuce can be canned and turned into lettuce conserves, an ingredient used, excuse me, used in the preparation of certain recipes. Lettuce can also be taken to the Finchwick Fair and submitted to the oversized crop. Okay, watermelon. Okay, so it's the same in full. Yeah, it's the same in full. Okay, so we're going to plant some more oversized ones and hope that this time we get something out of it. So they're pretending to talk. Amari's back, yay! He needs to brush his teeth. Cinema sin. Okay, so. Hmm. Everything is turning green though. Yay! I was so depressed with those dull plants. Okay, so I want her to plant some more oversized. Seeds, if I can, I think I have some. Let's see. Do you remember? Do you remember what my zodiac sign is? No. What's wrong with this man? Okay, let's try this again. I accidentally put purchased. <laughs> plant, plant. For God's sake, plant it. And we're going to plant the lettuce and the Okay, so the mail has arrived. So let's first, our bills are $4,000. Okay, so that's not completely crazy, but at that much every few 
every week or so, however often the bills come, yeah, if they're not bringing any money in, then it may pose a problem. So she didn't get her university stuff. She applied for scholarships and she didn't get anything yet. Oh well. I'll pay the bills later. And now, let's let her water them all. And hopefully, these actually grow to an oversized stage so that we can take them back to the fair. That's literally what I want to do. Come on with the lag. I want you to. Let's. You can sell the carrots. Um, I think he's stuck. Cause I could have sworn. I had him doing this stuff like two hours ago. Let's try again. Let's clean Bessie. Yes, no, maybe so. No. Let me see, I may have to reset him. There we go. The egg that was incubated in the coop is ready to hatch. Yes, go to coop. Oh, come on, babes. Where is he? Shh, show me that grandbaby. Show me that grand boy. No? No? Where, where, where's the baby? Where, where's the chick? Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Hatching in two hours. Oh, well, we got time. Um, what was I doing? Really? Feed, and then he can come over here and feed. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this little egg to hatch. Oh, I can hatch him now. Okay, I'm gonna let Miss Louise do that, doll. Oh, she's taking a nap. We'll wake up. What does she have on? <gasps> Miss Louise, where are you going? Where are you going? What what's what's T? What outfit is that? I don't remember that outfit. This is that outfit is nowhere in her in her dresser. Unbelievable. <laughs> Where'd she think she was going? <laughs> okay. I'll come out here. And let's hatch this egg. Everybody come, everybody come. This is a great time. Everyone, everyone, come join us. Come join us. I'm gonna I'm gonna take your bladder up, Jesse. You can come. Come join us. 
I'm not gonna bother the baby. Hey, I'm tired. But everybody else, come join. Come join. Okay, let's hatch this egg. Don't block my view. Girl. Ooh. That kind of scared me a little bit. It almost looked like she squared it, like she squares it and it popped. Luis helped a chick. Wait. Oh, take me back. Luis helped a chick hatch from an egg. What a heartwarming, heartwarming moment. I know, right? How cute is that? And she went straight to the, um, went straight to the, to the, <laughs> to the cow. Okay. She loves all her animals, though. She loves all her animals. And there's the little chick. Oh, look at it with the little feet. How cute is that? Oh. So cute. And all of them are eating now. Oh, how cute. And she's going to take a nap. She's really tired. Everybody is tired. Like, their energy has been thrown off from that one night. I haven't been able to keep them energized. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode of Farms Divine. Uh this episode was 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 interesting as well. <laughs> there was a lot going on this time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you guys in episode three. Bye.